My first episode with my mom. <laughs> Mama Mai, come on, yes. we gotta, let's go. What is this? That's oh, you're totally oh, exposed. Hold on. No, this one is a uh, three double X on sale final. Let the arm too big, I put it over here. You see, that's beautiful, that's beautiful. You cut the arms and made it a scarf? Yeah, because too big. The don't arm change. is too big for me. Why, what happened? Why? No, we're not wearing. Where's the mirror? I don't even see it. You don't have a, I put you in a room with all mirrors and you, did know, you look I, in it? I know, you asked me so fast. Do I look like a hip hop? Where did you get this, mom? I get it, everything on sale, final. That's why it's big. <laughs> That's a, don't worry, Mom, stand not, out, it easy to see it. This anyway. is not a love and hip hop episode. I don't like this outfit. The shirt said swagger, first of all. If you have to say you got swag, you ain't got swag. Yeah, Watch the good. mic. Just sit, just sit. Wait, hold on, hold on. Make sure you can see the. Is, is it look okay? Okay, you ready, Mom? Do we come back again? No, just sit down. This is our first episode together. Hello, honey. Hello, With me. Hello, hello. Can I get my line out? Hello, honey. It's me and Mama Mai. Yeah. Why did you choose this outfit, by the way? Because I feel I look more comfortable. This I look like true. a queen. I look queen, like a queen. So how much did you buy uh, this for? Uh, some, I bought it only $7. Seven dollars for that? Yeah, this one from fifty dollars, only seven dollars. Why did it go down so much? No, I told him I might put you, you know, on the Instagram, whatever. They know where your. You Instagram. use your Instagram to convince people to give you discounts, mom. Yeah, they give me discounts. Sometimes oh I use you and me combine together. What? It, it's work, mom. See, so we're gonna talk to her about that. She's not gonna start baiting people like that anymore. Ever, that's the queen, mom. So the reason why Mama Mai is a part of Hello Honey. When I first put her on the gram and saw your comment. It was like maybe two years ago, mom, or three years ago that we opened up our gram on Mother's Day, only because she saw me answering to you guys, and she's like, I want to, why, why I cannot talk to the fan? And I'm like, because mom, you ain't got fans. Like, you, ain't, you don't have a page. And she's like, I want to, why not do for me? So I started her page, and boom, every single one of your reactions, whether good, bad, whatever, it's good, it's a lot of people. Okay, so she's working on being humble. But all of you guys really responded to my mom and she's such a special part of my life. So it wouldn't make sense if I had a show without Mama Mai. She's my ride or die. Mama Mai reminds me every single day that I am only existing because of her. Everything that she went through to get me to where I am today. Escaped Vietnam at the age of seven, no, 16? 16. 16. Had sex a year later for the first time. Didn't know how to use a condom. <laughs> Wait, how do I tell this story? That's what I lost my virginity the first time and then she came out because I don't know how to use condom. I don't know how to put it on. No, we know how to put it on, but your father buy the cheap one. That's why they get the hole. That's why it's happened. Wait, you're serious? That's why, you, that's why you come out. That's a true story. Can I tell you something to mom? What? Like, I love I don't him. want you to come out, but you come out already. What? <laughs> I'm 16 years old. I don't want to have a baby. Okay, just so you know, though, in American culture, you usually don't want to tell your kids that they're accidents. Like, that's not a nice thing to say. I wasn't an accident, but I was a... Uh... You bought without expect. Okay, so you weren't expecting me. I don't expect you to come out. Okay, do you regret it? For right now, I don't. I'm happy for right now. But but, but at that time, you just born. Oh my God. That's so, different. That's a God gift. It's, I am a God gift, yes. Thank you so much. As, as young as I could remember, Mama Mai was very unapologetic about who you had to be to make it in this world. My confidence comes from me knowing that I am not all that. Does that make sense? My mom, yes, she's like, you're great, you're different from everybody else, but she's always like, you can be better, you can be stronger, you can be smarter. That confidence allows me to yeah. believe that even if you took everything from me, I can do exactly what I did to build it all again. Does that make sense? It makes sense, yeah, I'm proud about you about that, yeah. You are, Chef, yeah. hold on, hold on, you're what? Confident. Oh, That's no, what, did you, what was the other word you just said that I you never say, say to I me? said, yeah, I'm very proud about you. Yes, you're very confident. The first thing, if you're confident, you can do anything. That's how I like Mom, it. Mom, you've never, ever in my life told me that you're proud of me. I don't have to say because you're going to suck up. You're going to look like a big, you have a big nose. I don't want it. But, but I'm proud inside. Can you put it on the outside so I can hear it? I don't have to. I cook for you. I do everything for you. That's mean I'm proud about you. That's how it shows. Show my accent. You know what I mean? Action. When I, I love know, you, but I show. I'm like, I'm kind of battling right now with like celebrating that with you guys, but I'm also like, it, it hurts a little bit because I have, I've never heard you say that you're proud of me. And that means a lot. Sometimes I think it's okay to tell me once in a while. 
Okay, in that case, if you say that, I can tell, yeah, I'm very proud of you. Without you, mom, I don't sit here. That's because of you. That's why, okay, I raise you, I take care of you, you become successful. Now, you pull me over here with you, that I have to say thank you so much. Without you, nobody know who is the mom of mine. You need me, I need you. Are you good? Okay. So my favorite person in the world has moved in with me. It was really lonely in these streets and she just has an amazing energy to fill the house and make me feel so comforted and loved. There's nothing like the love of a mom. I'm so Thanks. thankful that you're here. She with told me, uh, mom, welcome you to my house. You can have whatever you want. You have your own room, you have your uh, uh, bathroom, your own whatever, you have your own kitchen. You know, I don't know, she's watching me. I don't have any freedom. She told me it's freedom, it's no freedom at all. I like being really I close to her. I have to cook her. for her, everything. I do, I love being close to my mom, so I am. We, I like to share the toilet while she's brushing her teeth. Remember that day I came home at eight in the morning? Oh my God, I'm so mad. I'm so mad about it. Really, really upset. I don't know why she came home so late. What happened? She yelled at me. What happened? It was a good thing that happened, let me tell you. It was bomb. But when I came home, she came flying out of her bedroom, screaming at where you go? Why you don't call me? Why you don't tell me where you go? I thought you kidnapped. And I'm like, mom, I'm 40. Ginny, I did. Ginny, when you was young, when you was a baby, when you go to school, elementary, whatever, you will travel. You always give me trouble. I will go to principal all the time. I have a thick face to see the principal every day, every day, until you grow up. I'm worried, I'm like, what's going on? Not only you, all your friends, they worry, they call me, they text me too, your manager too. Your manager asked you know where Ginny? I don't know where the hell she, she is right now. She you that day? Yes, you can go look at my, where's my cell phone anyway? No, I believe you. Yeah. So you're right, I should have communicated that, but I also want you to know that I'm 40 years old and you living here means like we're both adults. Now we share the space together and we can be like mother, daughter, but not like when I was a kid, you know? Now I we can know, be like... but when you're in love, you fly. You cannot see anything, you know what I mean? Not... That's why I'm worried about. I had a little too much fun that night. Lipstick over everything. Who you gonna kiss in? Ever. I take my mom traveling everywhere I can because when she immigrated here from Vietnam, she's never traveled outside of San Jose and Houston, which is where she first landed when the US Navy picked you up, right? Right. We gotta talk about this story. This is actually crazy. You were 16. Middle of the night, three o'clock in the morning, we escaped and then I have to wear everything color black so they cannot see me. So escape. my grandfather worked at a boating dock and he chose this specifically so he could have hookups on gasoline. He basically took a little bit of gas and buried it in a hole behind the house until he had enough to escape by boat. I'm actually gonna show you. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, that's the one, yeah. Yeah. This is the actual canister that my grandfather used to hold and contain the gas and to sneak out in the middle of the night and pour it into this boat. How crazy is that? So then what happened, mom? So after that, at the middle of the night, okay, and then we put us to go to sleep. So he gave you a sleeping pill? Sleep, all of us sleeping. And then three days later, we saw my mom, she had, she, she ride um, with a big towel, okay? Towel? The towel, and she-, she What, a towel or towel? A towel, when you, the, the bath towel. 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 Okay. And then, T-O-W-L. And then she, is that right? Let it go. I guess. My grandmother started sewing the word S-O-S -S onto only, the towel. Yeah, but only S-O. So she got S-O. So basically, the sew got her the attention she needed and the U.S. Navy came by. They, they rescued us. And we, we're very happy. Even the Navy right now, they still keep that for souvenir. They want S-O. How do you know? No, because they, they asked us to give it to them. And they Aww. give they give us two hundred dollars. Wait, the sailors like the the the, the sailor, the, the, the captain, the captain. They gave their own cash to you. Yeah, to go us at that time. It's a big money. They give it to us, you know, and they give us a lot of clothes because that's clothes they're supposed to give it to their wife or oh their God. girlfriend. But they give it to us because we have no clothes. Every single thing I learned about Americans and America was how kind and how hospitable they were to welcome my family. The one thing I will remember always is how grateful and thankful we were to be American. As soon as my mom and dad had enough money, they sponsored um, the rest of the family that weren't able to escape over. So we had 15 people living in a three bedroom home. So I was straight up Vietnamese, like in the house. I, that's why you can speak Vietnamese. At that time she doesn't speak Vietnamese at all. She speak English and Vietnamese broken. If I spoke English in my house, my mom would yell lo thai, which is like pull <laughs> I do. my ear. You know what I mean? I like this, it. and I was like, I would my ears have like, little stretches because of that say, happening all day when I was younger. Yeah, she said, mom, can I have some milk? No, and then she just say, uh, man, 
uh, cho con uống sữa and then I give her the milk. It was low key verbal abuse. Yeah, that's why this happened. And then I studied my Vietnamese and be uh, there. And I did the thing exactly like hay tại gia đình của em. Yeah, that's I how. Like that. I cook a lot, but she doesn't know how to cook, so don't. Okay, we don't have to put that out there because I'm single, so I'm trying to get somebody that I can learn. She's also going to be talking about relationships and her idea of what dating is going to look like. I still have to take care of you because I'm not sure who's the one you love the next one since you make the first mistake already. You know what I mean? Wait, what? Are you talking about my marriage? The first time you choose your husband, you want mom, I love him, I like him, I love him very much, I'm gonna stay with him for the rest of your life. You choose the first one, I let you choose. And then what happened? 10 years you divorced. You think I'm gonna let you go for the second one? No, I will keep my eyes on you. Everything you do. <laughs> I'm nosy, don't worry about that. That's the way I am. I have to process this, there's so much wrong. I don't know if you wanna have a baby or not. If you wanna have a baby, fine. You can get whatever you want, but have to be smart. Smart guy and working hard and good guy taking care of you. That's how I like it. Okay. That's okay. Don't worry. Average. That's fine. Explain why you don't want me to be with a very handsome man. They're no good anyway. Handsome guy, not really good. Get the average one. So my mom puts everybody on a scale of one to ten. When I was growing up and I'd bring boys home, she'd always come and look at me like, that's a seven. What happened? That a four. Yes. This one no good. One. And I was like, what the frick? So the handsome one is not your husband, just say that. My mom always says, you pick one to four, they lonely, but they love you. I agree. If you go looking for some guy, let the guy love you more than you love the guy. That's better. That's what I think. That's good. I don't believe in that. I think both should be equally yoked. But these are some of the things that Mama Mai is going to be teaching you about her idea of love. I will. Comment below every question you have to ask this one. Otherwise, if you don't ask me, you're gonna be like her. I'm not a divorce. Oh okay? my god. That's why. That's why wow. the one is her. That is so shady. I'm trying to live it my is. life. So there's three in my family. There's me, Dennis, and Daniel. And she makes sure I know that Daniel is her favorite one. Why, by the way? Because he's the one smart in the family. Just like I'm... somebody. Most people are beautiful and they're not really smart. What the Do you know about that? That's why everybody, when they see you, they say, Ginny Ma, you look beautiful. I don't like that. They say, oh, you look cute. I like it. You're charming. I like that. Because anytime you say, look beautiful, I feel like uh, that girl is beautiful but not smart. Most people are beautiful, a little bit cuckoo in their brand. So what are you? Are you beautiful? No, I'm not beautiful. I look cute. <laughs> How is Daniel your favorite when I'm the one that takes you traveling? I've taken her to 14 countries. You're living here with me, uh -huh. and I'm giving you a place on my show. That's the Asian style. You have to take care of me. That's normal, okay? So I don't even get credit for doing what I do. It's just expected. Like, I have to do that because I'm the eldest. And I don't know if anybody else has this problem, but when you're the eldest in your family, are you expected to carry out responsibilities that you didn't sign up for just because you're older? You have to take care but of But I don't everything. always want to be responsible. I don't always want to be the one that has to make the decision. You don't have to, but because in the family, the oldest always take care of the leader one. That's normal. They're not little. They're like in their 30s. But they still, you have to take care. Yeah, you know. We weren't always like this. We actually had a falling out for about, do the math, 14 years. And that was a big hard part of my life too that I want to share with you guys. And we've never talked about it. Tell them later, don't tell them right now. Okay, so I'll tell it's you later. Fun. You have you to stay I mean? tuned and watch. Something yes. good, you know. Yes. So my fam, you know where my confidence comes from. This one right here. Make sure that you comment below too exactly what you want to know and hear from Mama Mod so we make sure to answer those things. And most importantly, you've got to subscribe and you can be part of our fam. We love you. Ooh, say about the bell. On time. Perfect.